Hi everybody and welcome to this third lesson of the Hack the Piano Launchpad intro course to playing piano by ear. So in this lesson I'm gonna pick it up right where we left off in the last lesson. I will teach you a new chord which will enable you to finish the tune that we did then, the happy birthday. I'll show you the trick on how to build the most basic chord form, tell you how to add bass to make it real full and give it some body and I'll show you how you can scale a tune to fit your exact level if you tackle music like this. So first of all let's recap real quickly, let's get to the board and let's get started. Last lesson, I told you that the keyboard is made up out of three, two, three, two, three, haha, <laughs> two, three, two, three, two, three blacks. And that if you go to the left of the group of two, you get to the C. I also told you that this is also a C because it's also situated to the left of the two blacks, right? And it's also called a C, as is this one, and this one, and this one. So basically, all the notes can be found by just learning this chunk. So don't let yourself be overwhelmed. Then we saw that when we want to build a C chord, we start on that note C and start building by playing, skipping, playing, skipping, playing, and playing that form. So if I tell you to play a C chord, you start on C and start building a chord like that. This is a trick, hack, or basically just the way this works on how to find a chord. So if I tell you to play a G chord, then we're gonna go to C, D, E, F, G, right? You, you remember that it was the first letters of the alphabet, right? You can also see it over here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we start over at A because this is the same note as this one, right? B, C. Start on G and do that exact same thing. Play, skip, play, skip, play. Play, skip, play, skip, play. Same form as C over at G means a G chord. So now let me show you this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear love. Do you see how now I play that exact same form again, but over at a different note, so we get a different chord. This note is named C, D, E, F, so this chord is called an F chord, and how easy and convenient it is that it's exactly the same form again. And now with this chord, you can play the entire tune. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear unknown, happy birthday to you. Right? Great, right? Okay, so now let's give this tune a little more body by adding a left hand. Also something that we already saw, but now I'm gonna explain a little more on how this actually works. When you wanna add bass, when you wanna add a left hand, you're gonna copy the lowest note from that chord, or in other words, the note that the chord is named after. You wanna play a C chord, then you're gonna play a C in your left hand. This is where we're gonna start. It's called the root of the chord. It's named after that note, and that's also where the bass comes from. Bass basically means the lowest note that's played, okay? It's not entirely true, but for this moment, that's more than sufficient enough. So if we wanna play a C, then we play a C over there. But note, you could also play a C over here. It gives it even more body, do you see? But for now, let's start on the first one that occurs after the lowest note that we see here, if we're going down. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. So as you see, when I go to these other chords, I just play the lowest note over here and copy it over there. All right? You see how much body it gives and how cool it now sounds? Way fuller, right? So from now on, if you learn a new chord, try and copy the lowest note, or better set the name of the chord, that note that it's named after, play that with your left hand. Now check this out. Oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, life goes on. Brah, la, la, the life goes on. Oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, no, 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 no. Goes on. D, 
Did you see which chord I used? Which chords I used? Exactly, the exact same chords that we also saw in Happy Birthday. Now check this out. You think I'm on and I'm right on my brain. You know I'm not a man insane. You know my bird. You know you. You're no stone. It's great balls of fire. I don't know what the words are. And also, you heard that it wasn't exactly the part that Jerry Lee Lewis played him as he would play it himself. But it's just to show you that this is the foundation of the song as well. Those three chords make up the structure of the song. And then you would. Add something like this. You shake my knife and you rattle my brain. No, 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 man, no, 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 combining those notes with different things so that you can get closer to the actual way that it's been played on an original version. Nevertheless, it shows how these chords are the structure of multiple songs. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day When it's cold outside Got the month of May. You see, as mentioned, I try to keep it basic over here so that you really see that I'm using these same chords again. But it shows the multifunctionality, as mentioned, just like with words that you can use to build different kinds of sentences. If you start learning these chords, you can build different kinds of songs as the original authors of songs also use these same chords. Now, as a exercise, I would like you to take these three chords, C, G, and F, and try them in an order that you like. Maybe you can figure out another song that's built with these ones, or you can even think of your own melody, maybe. Um, but that's a great exercise for your ears and to get to know these chords. And obviously, surprise someone on their birthday. So in the next lesson, I'll get more into these patterns and rhythms. That's actually where it starts getting really cool, where the thing starts flowing, grooving, moving, and how we can get closer to original parts whilst using these same word-like chords that are used in tons of different other songs as well. So that's it for this lesson. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up, like it, share it, leave a comment. Get over to my website to follow the rest of this course and to get some extras. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.